part of the intrinsic value to serial killers is their post-murder communication with family members of their victims. One of the most famous was Zodiac. In the Zodiac case, the Zodiac telephoned uh, spouses of people that he killed, family members of people that he killed, as well as the communication with law enforcement, which continued for 20-some years. Why communicate with the family members? There's a theory called, uh, of communication called narrative theory, which says that we construct a world through narrative, and we, ex we experience it narratively. And what these killers are doing is they're creating their own narrative in which they're the star of the show, and they have all the control. Zodiac called her parents, her father, and sent him a letter, as well as sending letters to the police and the media, taking credit and saying how she acted as he walked her to where he killed her, the look on her face, the scream she uttered, the way she sounded, and apparently Zodiac derived great pleasure from sharing this subsequent to the crime. Serial killers seem to relish and enjoy the interaction with the family members after the crime is committed. They like to explain the trauma and the horror of the crime, and they love to boast about the police not being able to catch them. People like to watch other people suffer. The people like to watch other people get wounded. You can tell when there's a car accident because everybody slows down. And they're not slowing down to be careful, they're slowing down to get a good look. Uh, so people like to watch other people suffer, I think. And serial killers take that to the ultimate sadistic extent. There are thousands of missing persons in our country. We don't have law enforcement agencies working together. There is nobody trying to connect the dots. I am aware of other serial killers that I do know personally. Are any of these guys still out there? Yes, ma'am.